All right, welcome back to my channel. So I know in the first couple of videos, I've done full length interviews with college baseball players, but in this series, every week, I'm gonna go do a weekend recap of all the big series and everything that have happened and just break down what's going on. So first of all, first up, we got OU sweeps Houston. Their starting rotation has been amazing. Wyatt Olds shoved Friday night. Then Jake Bennett, a big, big lefty came in and he threw six shutout innings in the game on Saturday. And then yesterday on Sunday, it was a bit of a bullpen day. You got Braden Carmichael came in. He threw three innings. Then Jared Godman came in through three innings. And then Dalton Fowler came in, and he didn't do very good. But then they ended up closing it out. And if if the rotation keeps up and they keep going the way that they're going to, I think this is a top 15 team in the country. They've been unbelievable. They have one of the best offenses, offenses in all of college baseball. And if they get a th – starting three that will give them a consistent outing every time and every weekend i'd be on the lookout also on tuesday ou went and they upset the university of arkansas in arkansas and at the end of the game they brought in jason Ruffcorn, who i was actually have on the show in a couple days or so he came in and he was they and the announcer said he you know he's been sitting 94 and 95 he, mm -mm, no, he's got the glasses, he's got the mask going on, and he just was throwing 98, 99 the entire inning. The entire inning. So you see right here from Pitching Ninja, this is this is the out that closed out the game. I mean, just pure fury. You see, you can tell he's excited about that. I mean, look, he's got the mask on. He's got the goggles. Fury, straight fury. All right, and on Saturday, you had Jack Leiter from Vanderbilt throw a 16 strikeout, no hitter. He walked the first batter of the game and then retired the next 27. Unbelievable performance. I don't think he'd gotten past the sixth inning in any of his college games. It was his first ever SEC start, eighth career collegiate start. He throws a 16K no hitter, retiring the last 27 batters he faced. He is unbelievable, unbelievable. And then Kumar Rocker on their on Friday night, eight innings pitch, 14 Ks. Him, if you get Kumar Rocker and Jack Leiter in a one-two punch on Friday and Saturday, good luck. Good luck trying to hit that, and good luck trying to win either of those games against Vanderbilt. That is just probably might happen once, but hardly ever going to happen. I think it'd be really cool to see them go number one and number two in the draft. I don't think there's ever been a college that has put the number one and the number two overall pick. In the same in the same year in the same draft from the same school i think that that would be so cool to watch also arkansas they were the number one team but i don't think that they're going to stay that i think they're going to drop to at least two or three they lost three in a row they got destroyed on friday they lost to louisiana tech and their last game last weekend and then on tuesday ou came in and beat them and then and then they lost 16 to 1 on friday against alabama so they were on a rough patch. They came back in and won the last two games of the series. So they ended up winning the series, but three games in a row, and none of them were really that close. So got to look on them. Something that I like about college baseball is that there's always going to be upsets all around. You know, uh, this past week, 21 out of the top 25 teams lost at least one game. So that's just something that I like to see. I like to see upsets. I like to see the underdogs come in and win. So that is something that I really enjoy about watching college baseball. Next up, we got Louisiana Tech. This is a top 25 team and it is no debate. Their pitching staff is amazing. They beat the number one team in uh, Arkansas. They beat the number four team in Ole Miss. And then they beat Tulane in a three game series. They swept them. Complete Three complete game shutouts from their staff during that time. And they didn't just beat Ole Miss. They beat Ole Miss 13 to one. So I think they're a top 25 team, and I think if they keep going the way they're going, they could get sneak into the top 10, or not top 10, the uh, top 15 or top 20. So, all right, next up, we got a New Mexico State pitcher who this kid was strutting after a strikeout. All right, so this is Warwick Maltrude, who I'm actually going to be interviewing later today, but look at that doing his best Conor McGregor impersonation right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love to see, love to see it. I love seeing all the um, 
emotion coming out of players. I think it's super, super cool because, you know, they're working hard. They're working hard to get to like the pros and they're not getting paid. So all the emotion that they're showing is raw emotion. And I think it's so, so cool to see. And he, Rorick shoved yesterday. He had a huge outing. It was five or six innings, maybe even seven with, I think it was six innings with no runs, two hits, like nine strikeouts or something. So it was really, really cool. I know that there have been so many more pitchers who have been showing so much more emotion and I love to see it. So, all right, next up, speaking of celebrations, we got East Carolina. They had, they had a dude, they, they had a walk off, right? And there's only one correct way to celebrate a walk off. And that is by having a cone on your head as you run out. Look at that. Love to see it. Love to see it. I saw this on Twitter and I was dying laughing. It was so funny to watch. So, all right. So conference play is starting for a lot of teams this week. So be on the lookout. I know that um, OU goes to goes to UT. They play one game in Texas State on Wednesday. Then they go down to uh, Austin and try to see. You know, I'm a big OU fan just because you know I go here. So might see a little bias on this channel, but it's all good. So, all right. And now what I'll be going to do. And at the end of each one of these series, I'm going to do a top three things to look out for in the next weekend series. And then I'll have a hitter of the week, a pitcher of the week, and then I will have an upset of the week. So first thing, things to look out for. OU has been has been said that they might be a top 25 team. I think this weekend playing at Texas, three-game series will be a true decider in whether or not they are really a top 15, top 20 team. If they can do that, I think that they're going to be very, very good. If they can go in and win at least two, maybe if they sweep Texas, that's going to be huge. But as long as they if they can win the series, I think they will put themselves in as a top 25 team without a doubt in my mind. All right, next up, we got Arkansas and Mississippi State are going to meet up. So is Arkansas State the best team in the country? I, they were ranked number one for a while. I know Vanderbilt took them over this week, but I think that – they, I think Arkansas will have to really, really show up if they want to prove, like, hey, we're a top two team in the country. Because if they have another eh kind of weekend against uh, Mississippi State, then who knows how far they could fall. All right. And then last but not least, South Carolina put up a pretty good fight against Vanderbilt in my eyes. I mean, obviously, Jack Leiter threw no hitter. But Friday night, I mean, they lost by one run. And that was against Kumar Rocker. So, and then on Sunday – they had a seventh or eighth inning home run to put them on top, and then they ended up winning. So I think that that I think that's going to be a very very good series to watch. They're playing Florida this weekend, and if South Carolina has another plays about as well as they did against Vanderbilt as they do as they will against Florida, then I think that they have a they have a very very good chance to maybe even sweep Florida or win the win the series. All right, and now. Pitcher of the week. I mean, this is no competition. Jack Leiter, of course. You know, you throw 16 Ks, retired 27 hitters in a row, throw a no hitter. I mean, against the top 15, I don't know how a top 15 team against South Carolina. I mean, that's just like not even a question. And now here's where a little bit of the bias comes in. The hitter of the week for me was Brandon Zaragoza from OU. He was he's he's the OU starting shortstop. He was 7-11 on the weekend with nine RBIs, four extra base hits, three doubles, and a home run. And as a redshirt senior, he hit his first career home run this weekend. He hit the top of the fence, then bounced over. But hey, you know it counted. It went over. So awesome to see him get his first career home run. I know his teammates were pumped. Everyone in the stadium was pumped. And then now moving on to the upset of the week, we got Alabama absolutely dominating Arkansas, sixteen to one in the first game of the series on Friday. I mean that's just. I don't know. Arkansas had a rough week. Hopefully they can get back on track because I think that they're a very, very talented team. But, I mean, shoot, you never know. I mean, that was 16-1 to domination. I mean, Arkansas didn't even stand a chance against Alabama. So, all right. Well, that is going to wrap up my college baseball weekend recap from March 29th to the 21st. I appreciate you guys listening. I'll have well, probably an, another interview tomorrow and then maybe – one on two, maybe one on Thursday and then Saturday, every couple of days, just try to get two or three videos out a week for y'all. So I would appreciate y'all if y'all could hit the subscribe button, like, comment, let me see, let me know what you guys want to hear next. And until then, peace out. Keep watching college baseball.